ugly delicious. You guys know I'm a sweet tooth. I can't help it. I love sweets. I love dessert. But, um, you know, you can't do that too often when you're trying to watch your figure and watch your weight. So what I have here, which I bet you think looks like milk, right? Well, this is coconut milk. I just put some coconut milk, um, the thick coconut cream, you know, the one you get out of the can. They're different brands you can get easily. Uh, in any ethnic market or even in your regular grocery store. I think they sell different coconut milk So you can put that uh, In a glass like I have here with some almond milk. So that's what I did to thin it out a little bit of almond milk coconut milk and uh, Sweetener of your choice. So this by itself is delish, but this is not where it's going to end what I got here mm -hmm. Chia seeds what you know about that? Yeah, chia seeds are one of those superfoods which you see a lot of vegetarians and vegans eating. Why should they keep all the secrets to themselves? No, ma'am. So, now that I know better, <laughs> I'm going to be sharing it with you, my friend. What we have here is some chia seeds, gluten-free. And I got these from TJ Maxx. If you so, that's what it looks like. These tiny little seeds. To be honest, it looks like something I've seen in Nigeria before. So I almost wonder whether this is almost like gyro. You know how some people know gyro, but maybe this is a little finer in texture. Okay, so I'm going to take one tablespoon. They say that if you add this to water or, or juice or um, any liquid and you let it sit, it will thicken that liquid. So I'm going to put it in my coconut milk. I think I'll put a full two tablespoons or almost two tablespoons. I'm going to share this with my husband. So you can literally eat it like this on top of cereal or yogurt or you know anything really because uh, it doesn't have a strong taste to it. But instead I plan to use it as a dessert. So I'm going to let it sit in the fridge for a few hours and then later I'm going to top it off with some fruits like strawberries or banana, blueberries and that will be a very healthy snack filled with, filled with nutrition. I'm going to lick the spoon off right now. Mm. I'll show you what it looks like later. So it's been an hour. Let me show you the consistency. See, it's like a pudding. And I could eat it straight out of this glass, but instead I'm going to transfer it into this pretty little glass and add my fruit. So a lot of people will leave it, their chia pudding, overnight. I think that's good. I'm going to add some blueberries. And then I'm going to add my banana. Now isn't that the cutest little power punched dessert you've seen? Oh my god, it's so cute. And let's go in for the dive. Yummy. It's like little bursts of energy in my mouth. and Mmm. Your drumettes, your chicken drumettes. These have already been, you know, cut. I got this from the supermarket. Um, you just your regular drumettes. They still have the skin and fat on them. Usually if I'm stewing it, I usually remove the chicken fat and skin. But in this case, because I'll be baking it for a while, we're just going to leave it on. So make sure you wash your drumettes and of course uh, rinse them off with some vinegar or some citrus like lemon juice 
or even an orange. So that's what you're going to need. Your drumettes, I have enough for my family of five. And since we're not going to fry it this time, I'm going to do it in the oven in a skillet. So I have my giant heavy skillet. But if you have a baking pan, that would be fine too. So you need that. And I have a little bit of oil that I'm going to drizzle in the pan. visit her 
with my wonderful doubting, doting husband. Stop shaking your head, kids. Just call me doubting. Doubting, yeah. Doubting, doubting. Doting. Doting. Okay. I think that's enough. Do you need your medication? Do you need your medication? Do <laughs> so retarded. All right. See you there. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> My little lady, <laughs> Miru, <laughs> in her kitchen. Trying to cook. So we're about to finish up cooking. We're doing some plantain, of course. Because I'm always saying, you know, Caribbeans love their plantain, but so do Africans. <laughs> So do Africans. Yes, we do. Oh, so you got a fryer? Look at her. Yeah, so we can make it in the fryer. Go so, um, to India. Oh, yeah. That has yeah, me been, too. I really, Look at really this really jello fries. Mm-hmm. Me too. <laughs> I'm full. So we just had an amazing time with Miro. Great company as usual. And it was so nice to have her and get to talk about Nigeria and get to talk about travel to Nigeria and have a lot of my questions answered that I really don't know. So it's fascinating, you know, going from, you know, either Dallas or going from JFK and going from different airports to either Istanbul or people who go to Dubai on the way to Nigeria, the cost, the immunizations, the yeah all the travel you know um i guess hurdles or things that you need uh all of those things to consider traveling abroad or traveling specifically to nigeria so it's fascinating because i really did not know or it's i mean i haven't been to nigeria in over 20 30 years <laughs> and i don't know what it's like to go to nigeria now what it's like to have someone from Nigeria come here so that's what we were discussing so yeah it will be interesting so my husband here is sitting here thinking about what it would be like to have two wives you want two or do you want four because he learned that how some men some Hausa men or some Muslim men can have up to four wives so I don't know, how are you going to tolerate, how are you going to deal with more than one of me? Explain. I can't, that's why. Explain. Explain what? You oh, would that's the whole point. I wouldn't want more than one of you. Okay, so you're going to have some docile ass wives, right? Why well, has to be like that? Yeah, because none of them would be as fiery as me. Well, let me think And then about your that. sexual performance, you got to keep oh, that yeah. up. This is a family show. <laughs> See? This is a family show. You got to keep it up for all four wives. Let's go. Well, you got science and technology. Uh -huh. That's all I got. So. Well, anyway, you got to provide financially. See, that's the thing. American men, they just think, oh, you're going to have four wives, you can do what you want. No. You also have to financially provide for those four wives yeah. and all the kids that you produce. Ooh. You know, they yep. have to look nice. They have to dress nice. Of course, they I want it all. They school. want it all. They all they want it all. They deserve it all. Right. You're right. So, the only th part you guys think about is all the sexual craziness no, that you could have. I'm thinking about peace and companionship. Peace and companionship, really? Yeah. yeah. Hey, any Nigerian men out there who have more than one wives? Do you have a lot of peace and companionship? <laughs> I guess you have companionship, That's but companionship. do you have a lot of peace yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you have more than one wife? You get a lot of peace. Mm. Kenton, so rude. So rude. I hope you're amused with yourself. <laughs> the lighting isn't here, but I am in my office at home. And I'm having some chia seeds and coconut milk. That's been my new obsession. Love this stuff. It's so crunchy and creamy and nutty and just delicious and good for me. So after having, you know, a late lunch with Meru, um, I, I was full. I'm too full. And so for dinner, this is it. And it looks kind of strange. And maybe not even appetizing to some. There's very little left. Um, I didn't finish the whole jar. No, this jar 
um, goes between me and Kenton and Kareem and Mariam. They like it too. And so there was this much left. So that's what I'm eating. About this much. Anyway, I'm at my desk. I'm about to edit a vlog and also a hair video. So Kenton is out. He, I guess he woke up early. He exercised some. And uh, he's just out. I wonder if I should wake him up. Because otherwise he won't sleep well before work. So, but for now I'll let him continue to sleep even though it's well it's kind of late evening anyway hope you had a nice day let me get on with this editing and vlogging and then tomorrow i have to clear up my room i'm expecting some new be bedroom furniture uh long overdue yeah i'll see you tomorrow oh let me show you this you see this foolishness i got this at uh tj maxx it's so pretty look at all this bling i know it's silly right it's so cute you would think i bought this for Miriam. no i bought it for myself because even though these little ears are suggesting a cat they don't have one for lions they don't have one that looks like a lioness which i am a lioness so Lions are part of the cat family, so that's why I have this. And I think it looks kind of cute and mischievous and blingy since I love all that. And I'm getting used to my straight hair. <laughs> Still getting used to that. But anyway, let me stop rambling. See you tomorrow. Out and about. Kenton has to get his tooth removed today he's not in the best mood but he'll get better hopefully my poor baby just had the medication injected into his gum and jaw it hurt didn't it Oh, I couldn't even film because it looked so bad. It looked so painful. Ooh. He was doing all kinds of curls with his toes. <laughs> wow, we got out. It literally took him like five minutes to yank that tooth out. Unfortunately, um, they wouldn't let me film it. So, But that's okay because honestly, eh, I don't think you would want to see that. But uh, let me see your face. Mm -hmm. Yeah, his cheek looks a little swole, but that's also because he's got gauze in his mouth. So, normally most people would probably want to go home and relax, but Kenton um, would like us to go um, visit the store. So we're going to go see this uh, commercial cooking store. So, let's go. Yes, people, look at this. People, be careful. Wow. It's raining heavy. It's just crazy, man. Life is so vulnerable. So one minute you're good, the next minute you just never know. Everybody, we need to slow down just really be mindful and be present you know how we go through life just you know on our cell phones distracted God knows it's like be mindful be present so Ken and I were just talking about how um, you know when we went to this dentist place or this I guess is he an oral surgeon or is he a oral dentist surgeon. he's an oral, oral surgeon, surgeon. Yeah. Um, it's interesting because a lot of the clientele we could see that were coming in were immigrants. You know, some of them could not speak English. They needed a translator. Um, you know, you could tell some of them were probably quite poor and, you know, feeling desperate and don't have anywhere else to go or are limited. So anyway, when Kenton had to, you know, get his tooth removed or extracted I thought they would let me stay and they they didn't you know the lady comes in and she's like oh no the doctor uh, would prefer you not to be in the room 
exactly you know and I know they're just looking and they see I hate to you know make everything about color but honestly in this world or in America color is a huge thing um, your race is a huge thing so she was very surprised that I was even his wife you know it's kind of like she gave me these second looks like really you're Miss Spencer you're his wife so when the doctor came in you know and I could tell he was a little uncomfortable with me being there um, I did leave I thought you know what I'm not gonna make a scene it's okay because I would rather them take care of Kenton and not be nervous while I'm in the room so I kind of pleasantly left and I looked at the uh, oral surgeon and I said hey by the way I'm a physician please take care of my husband so he looked at me but you could tell he didn't believe me he really didn't believe because again all he's seeing is I don't know what he sees but he just sees a regular black woman so I leave apparently Kenton tells me that once I left he actually came and asked him hey is that really your wife and oh is she really a physician like really so Ken had to confirm that yeah I work for a hospital system myself and yes my mother my wife is a physician and so the doctor was like oh, okay okay we'll take good care of you uh, and I'll be very quick so that's why he was in and out literally in five minutes but I was just saying like it's so sad that people sometimes why don't they put forward their best effort regardless of who you are why do I have to tell you or explain to you who I am before you know you plan to give me the appropriate or best treatment so it makes me wonder what happens to all those poor people who you know can't stand up for themselves or who you know yeah can't speak up for themselves they just get treated poorly like it's it's horrible it's wrong it's wrong well, you I know wish I could talk because I'd be going <laughs> off the hook right now but right right it's it, ridiculous it's it's really ridiculous it's like goddamn ridiculous and it's it, it's so tiring got to deal with that and then see my wife go through that shit every time and I know most people I would honestly say most people that we come across are not racist and most people are very open to who we are and accepting of who we are but the reality is unfortunately in the US 2018 with our current president inciting everybody or really I, I don't know if he's inciting everybody or he's just amplifying what is already there and bringing to the surface all these racial problems it, it's so it's just so sad you know that you have to constantly feel like I have to remind you that I'm a human being who deserves to be taken care of appropriately that I'm paying you money and yet despite me paying you money all you see is my color and all you see are your assumptions so anyway I think enough of this rant you get the picture we are going to this restaurant supply store that's never open you know after hours so luckily because Kenton is off work having had his tooth done we get an opportunity to come check it out so let's see how this goes positivity people let's keep it positive <laughs> so we arrived doesn't look like anything fancy clearly it looks like a warehouse on the outside but let's see United restaurant equipment ha, ha, ha. clearly a big place really big place look at that kind of give you an overview they have everything Let's look at that Ooh. Are you having a party? Are you having a picnic? Are you having a celebration? You need to come here. You really need to come here. Everything you need is here for baking, for cooking. Okay. You frying something? dishes plates even that portable gas cooker that I liked they have that here another double portable 
stove if you have a small apartment and you need some more cooking space. This is like an electric actually plug-in. You can even buy a commercial stove and an electric fryer, big fryer. Or you want to cut meat, you have big slabs of meat, or you're starting a deli, this is where you should come. It's this uh, commercial oven. Yeah. Brian. So I just got some soap here. Tell it's me. French green clay. Mm -hmm. And the French green clay has some um, nice detox soap that has lavender, tea tree, and lemongrass in it. I'm not supposed to eat it. I want to eat it. <laughs> It's as natural you could, but you'd rather use it on your body. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay. Well, actually, my shea butters are excellent for, for eczema skin. Aren't they Very pretty, Mariam? Mm -hmm. I like and the so ones that you had that look like roses, I saw. Oh, or, the flower ones? Yeah. I didn't, just, I didn't bring those. That's so okay. I just brought um, some those of the are pretty designs too. like that. These are... Do you want to smell it? That's um, yeah. actually a lavender, mint, and oatmeal in that. Oh, wow, that feels good. And then I have a rosemary mint. Yeah, that's pretty. Let's see. Yeah. How do you make them? How do you make them? So that's actually a, an impression mat that I use. So you just pour the batter and then yes. like kind of like a mold. Mm -hmm. And with the flour, the flour soaps you saw, right. a mold. But these or in a mold as well, but they're long, kind of like a, a loaf, mm. mold, like your um, baking, baking bread. Uh, bread. Mm -hmm. And this is a Zanzibar spice that has the clove on top. Oh, that's and pretty. You want to smell it? Yeah. Smells like chai. Yeah. It smells <laughs> like chai, yeah. Because it has um, cinnamon, orange, and oh, then yeah. um, clove in that as well. And, and these are literally all natural, they're right? All natural. Um, with essential oils and even to the col the colors are natural like this rose color is mm -hmm. the rose kale and clay yeah and then i use some um, turmeric root as well what would you say are the your best selling soaps the best selling soaps Whew. well the best selling soaps would prop would probably be um the rosemary mint definitely this black seed and lemongrass is a ultimate oh, that's a big you seller like that, right there and the activated charcoal, which I don't, um, so it's good for allergy season, but I infuse the nettle and the dry nettle with um, olive oil mm -hmm. and then um, blended it with lavender and eucalyptus. So you can use this in your hair, you can use it on your body. Sounds it's like with allergy. Yeah. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. And then, so you're welcome to, to try some out. And um, this one's my favorite here. It's, um, I call it the Moroccan Gasool clay soap. So it has the Moroccan yeah. clay, um, which is Rasool or Gasool clay. But then I put um, cedarwood oil, which is cedarwood atlas from the Atlas Mountains, and then some mint mm. essential oil, and oh, wow. some orange in that. It's a really great nice. cleansing one. Mm -hmm. Smells very clean. Mm -hmm. Wait, when's when your birthday? Out? Oh, May 12th? Oh, wow. My birthday is May 14th. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. Ah, both Tauruses. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew? Yeah, I was telling how reserved you were. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I was thinking, like, maybe this would... Do you think, Mariam, this could be, like, a good, cute, um, like, uh, favors, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, for a party. Yeah. Teenage girls might like that, don't you think? Don't would you think? friends like them? Don't you think? Mm -hmm. You don't know. <laughs> I think they would. <laughs> so these are the shea butters um, that are good for eczema skin. So they're just okay. the smaller versions, but I have the bigger ones here too. So they are. Um, so it's shea butter and it's whipped with coconut too. So it has the best of the oils together. And do you want to try some? This is unscented. Do you want to put some on? Yeah. Yeah. So just take some. And, or do you want to scent it? There's lavender and there's lemongrass. There's truly just, just in case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you just need a tiny bit, and it just uh, soaks in really yes. well. Mm -hmm. 
So after you How can they find you? You can find me uh, at uh, <laughs> um, nylashay.com and then also I'm in on Instagram as well and Facebook, Twitter. Um, awesome. So please come by and to my page. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Look at this beautiful plant she nice brought me. Thing. Isn't that beautiful? You want to smell this one? Sure. Yeah, that one has, that's a new one. I'm kind of playing around with it. It has seaweed powder in it. And then that's actually uh, salt, huh? but it's activated charcoal salt from uh, oh, Hawaii. Cool. Mm hmm And then the black is the activated charcoal as well. So the seaweed powder one is a new one. It's starting to, it's well, pretty it looks very like now. volcanic. Yes. Mm hmm Yes. Doesn't this look like henna? She says this is a tattoo. Yeah, it's a tattoo. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Yeah, I have lots Obviously, of it has a very there. Middle Eastern or you know, almost kind of feel to it, right? Yeah, yes, this is the Zanzibari side. Oh. <laughs> I'm so happy to be home and it's snowing. There's nothing like snow when you're home and don't have to work. You know, when you're out driving, then it's a pain. But to be home, let me see if I can go outside. Ha! In the middle of March, snow, y'all. March! And we got snow in North Carolina. Beautiful. I just hope everybody's safe out there and there won't be any accidents. Do you see what I see? Okay, watch me fall. I'm out here in my bedroom slippers, which is not smart. You see the fluffy little snow. So the kids came home early today. School got out early because they were trying to get the kids home so that they're not out on the roads taking the buses. So their daddy brought them home today early. What is Kareem up to? What are you up to, Kareem? I hear my blender going. I'm like, I better go check and see what what is going on. What is that? Tomatoes or strawberries? Strawberries. <laughs> strawberries. What's tomatoes. the black stuff? It's blueberries. Oh, blueberries. Oh, okay. Blueberries and strawberries. Okay, you gonna put milk in it or cream? No. Ice. It's like a slushy. So what you got in the box, Khalid? Drone. Khalid got a drone. So apparently you have a school project, right? Yeah. He's got a school project and he needs to borrow my G7X vlogging camera, which he's going to have to rip out of my life or rip out of my strong grip because I'm not giving up my camera. The only way I agreed apparently is... Oh really? So you have to do a paper or a project? I didn't want to do the paper. He didn't want to do a paper so instead he's doing he's doing some video project. So anyway the compromise is he said if I let him borrow my um, camera he orders a drone, which he just did, and that I get to keep the drone afterwards. So that's kind of cool, huh? I was like, you better not break my camera. So I'm kind of fascinated with this drone situation. Um, a camera on it, on the drone, or do I have to like attach my cell phone or your cell phone to it? Or does it like have a camera already built in on it? Ooh. Huh, Khalid? The camera's on it. Oh, so it already has a camera. Oh, is it like the camera from, what are those mini cameras called? Um, the ones that look like cubes. You mean, um... You know the cameras that they use, GoPro. Yeah, is this like a GoPro camera on it? No. It's cheaper, probably. Let's see. Cool. cool. Yeah, I am definitely going to need some training with this. This is, but I can't wait to like take it outside eventually. 
It's actually quite light. It's not really um, heavy. It's the battery. The battery needs to be charged. I think it only lasts 15, 20 minutes in the air. Oh, really? 15, 20 minutes in the air? Mm -hmm. Now it's got a remote. And this is where you put your phone. Oh, okay. So you control it with your phone mm -hmm. and an app. Mm -hmm. mm. Interesting. All right, can I see the parts, please? What's what? This is the propeller. This is the guard. What's the guard for? To protect the propeller. The guard, the, the guard does. And then camera. All right, what kind of camera is it? This is a camera, a HD camera, that's what it said. And then a landing gear, and then that's it. That was really hard, right, Khalid? Yes, it was. Why was that really hard, Khalid? It's too simple, and you can link it. I can link what? It to um, the name of it, that. And then they can find out all they want. Why would they want to do that? I wanted you to tell me. It's not like it's anything special. Yeah, you're special. Thank you. All right, I'm about to go for a walk with hubby. Can you see him up there? <laughs> hey, Ken, I'm scratching your belly. Hey, scratch your belly. Push your belly in. Poo poo. <laughs> it was. It was funny. Akaleta, I was telling your sister we were doing aerobics. Everything he kept saying looked so like. Well, it was. It was all. Like women. So feminine. But when he wasn't watching, I was still recording. He was doing his little dance moves. <laughs> Hilarious. Anyway, Marie, you want to see um, Khalid's drone? Go ahead. Pick yeah. it up. Am I allowed? Khalid, can I touch it? Yes, you can, you can touch it. I'm giving you permission to touch it. At least I was nice it. enough to ask. We read yeah, the some like, people. The battery you're charging, so it's not going to go. It's heavy. pretty big, right? But it's not heavy. It's because it's made of, I don't know. Can plastic. you imagine your film, um, the film or movie potential? Maybe you can make a short a movie for us. Camera, so, it's pretty good. so can you change the direction of the camera? Yeah, with the remote. Oh, oh really? With the remote? Yeah, only up and down? We can move side to side too. You see it? it's, it's, it's supposed to be 120 degrees rotation. 120 degrees. 120 degrees rotation. It's not 360, so we can't look at it. So yeah, so it's right. So, so should I make stew chicken, or should I make fried chicken, or should I make baked chicken? Baked chicken. Khalid says baked chicken. Your brother says baked chicken, and um, I mean Khalid says stew chicken. Your brother says stew chicken. You're one for baked. Daddy usually wants it fried. What's a girl to do? Well, that's where well, she goes the majority, which is the, the stewed chicken. Because the fried chicken, I don't think I can exactly. bite hard. I'm thinking more about... I mean, if Daddy wants fried oh, chicken. Oh, let me see your braces. Yeah, yeah, you forgot they have braces now. Let me see. Yeah, yeah, okay. Soft and tender. Let me see. Yeah. Mariam and Kareem. So they just got back from school, and they're both wearing these T-shirts. Tell me about it. Well, so today we uh, uh, walked out walked out of school for 17 minutes to honor the kids who were killed in the Parkland shooting. Mm -hmm. And we had some student speakers just talk about them and uh, gun control that needed to happen. Right, so we're tired of all the violence, right? We're tired of all the shootings. Hashtag enough. I guess that's what your t-shirt well, says. So was do you think it was effective? Was it was I there? Mean, what do you I think, Maria? What do you mean? Do you think it made a difference, or do you think it was a waste of time? It wasn't. It was the purpose of it. The walkout wasn't as a protest. It was mm -hmm. more of to for student government to be like, hey guys, remember the shooting, and you guys still have a voice for uh, for with pat in regards to passing bills in Congress. Okay. So it wasn't really a protest. It was a way maybe to empower the students so that they could feel like they have a voice and to remember all the people or the students that had fallen or had been killed. All right, let's see the back of your t-shirts. So we've got your back. It says Chapel Hill Carborough Students Against Gun Violence. What are these names on the back? Oh, those are sponsors. Okay, these are sponsors. 
eye. Interesting. Cool. <laughs> Side eye. Kareem, you're such a tall, lanky guy. Why are you sitting in the chair like that? Huh? That, that, that doesn't look comfortable. It is. That's comfortable for you? You don't have to sleep like this. Sheesh. Really? You might like so. You might be like uh, stifling your growth. <laughs> I don't think so. Mm. Anyway, make sure you get your homework done. See Princess Mariam here. Princess Mariam here. This is how you do your homework, Mama. Or are you still chilling? Off no, no, no. Just take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Two hands. Just finished teaching Khaled how to make macaroni and cheese from scratch. How you like me now? We have some stir-fry beef in here with some onions, tomatoes, and I threw some zucchini and topped it off with some cilantro. It was a very random ending, but I really appreciate you watching it this far. And don't forget to subscribe and like and be back soon. God bless.